by Will Hill, the executive director of Consumers First. You can get all the information. You can get all the information at www.consumersresearch.org, consumersplural.research.org. Will Hild, welcome to the Hugh Hewitt Show. Good to talk to you. It's great to be with you this morning. So you've been making all sorts of news this week, buddy. I've been waiting for you all week. Uh, Hans Nichols in Axios today uh, has, a, has a piece about, uh, it's got your fingerprints all over it. Explain to people, give them the elevator pitch of what the ESG thing is, what we're fighting, and why we're fighting it. Absolutely. Well, it's built by its supporters. It's just another type of investing, like Warren Buffett is famous for value investing. Well, that's what they say it is. What it really is, is the ability for them to inject far left, progressive left politics into the corporate boardroom using your investment dollars, your 401ks, your pensions, the federal, state, and local pensions. They are using this as an excuse to push corporate America in a far left direction. We've seen the results of that over the last couple of years. And Consumers Research is just helping consumers stand up and say, enough is enough. Stop using our money to push your politics. We have good news on this front, and there's good news on all sorts of fronts here. The the anti-ESG movement uh, gained steam in the House. A bill passed in the House. It actually passed in a bipartisan fashion in the Senate. Joe Biden is still threatening to veto it, but he is facing an uphill battle at this point because the momentum is moving away. Uh, Two quick news stories before we run out of time. The Bank of America CEO... In a uh, story I saw from Reuters this week, uh, Chief uh, Executive Officer Brian Moynihan said that we are actually capitalists as the anti-ESG critics are gaining steam. It sounds like even B of A is starting to get on the right side of this issue or seeing which way the wind is blowing. Are you encouraged by where this movement seems to be going? Uh, very much so. I don't trust the CEO of Bank America any farther than I could throw him. Uh, sure. Six months ago. Trust but verify, right? The old, the old... Under that, no one should do business with him. But he's changing his tune. And what it's, that's showing it... is that consumers standing up is having an impact. And we need to keep that momentum going. I'm actually headed from this interview to go to the Hill where they're going to enroll that CRA uh, today and send it to Joe Biden's desk. Far out. I'm very encouraged. We got two Democratic senators. Senator Tester and Manchin to both sign on. This is now a bipartisan movement pushing back against anti-ESG. Yep. And as you noted, uh, we put out a report yesterday that lays out a roadmap for Congress over the next nine to 24 months to, to, to do oversight, to call these people to account, people like Larry Fink and BlackRock and other asset managers, as well as the agencies pushing this nonsense, to bring them in and call them to account. We are going to be out there amplifying consumer voices. Consumers Research with an S. Consumers, plural, research.org is where you go to help out Will and get up to speed on this movement. One last piece of uh, uh, news that was on this front that was very encouraging. Sean Reyes, the uh, Attorney General of Utah, filed a lawsuit against the National Association of Attorneys General. And that just blew me away because I didn't think that ESG would even impact that. But apparently the tentacles of this go everywhere, Will. It's incredible. The NAG, the National Association of Attorneys Generals, has on hold money that belongs to Utah and other states. And as it turns out, this supposedly bipartisan or nonpartisan organization supposed to represent all the attorney generals across the country was using that money, of course, to push an ESG agenda. And so we applaud Attorney General Reyes in pushing back against this. It's wrong. It's a misuse of public dollars. And NAG ought to either give the money back to the states uh, or, or figure out how to, how to invest it in a neutral way. Because right now, conservative state dollars are being used to push a far left agenda. So what will people find when they go to consumersresearch.org and how can people help you the best? Absolutely. Well, they can learn more about how they can get involved in the fight. There is legislation moving through about 24, 25 states right now. We need people to call their state elected representatives and say, listen, I don't want my state's pension dollars. I don't want my state's uh, sweep accounts and all my bank accounts. I don't want that used for an ESG purpose. We need to put an end to this because I'll tell you, BlackRock a year ago when we started, they didn't have a single state lobbyist. Now they have one in all 50 states. This is going to be a big fight, but we are going to win, and we need your help. So please visit us at consumersresearch.org. Will Hild, you are absolutely one of the most influential guys in America right now on the right on this issue, and I applaud you for it. Consumersresearch.org, thank you, Will Hild.